Hello everyone and welcome to the second video in the series of Canadian citizenship application. In today's video, I will give you a demo of using the physical presence calculator. Physical presence, as I explained in my last video, is one of the foremost conditions that you need to satisfy to be able to apply for Canadian citizenship. So without wasting any time, let's quickly get into the details. So before going into the actual calculator, just a quick recap for anybody who has missed my earlier video. To be able to apply for Canadian citizenship, you should be in Canada or you should have lived in Canada for at least 1095 days in the five years leading up to your application. So just for example, if you have if you are planning to say apply on 1st of August 2024, then you must have lived in Canada for 1095 days since 1st of August 2019. Okay, so I hope that is clear. Now, obviously to be able to apply for Canadian citizenship, you need to be a PR. So you should take into the account that you should live in Canada for at least 730 days or two years. So if you have lived in Canada as a PR for at least 730 days and in the past five years have lived in Canada for 1095 days, then you may be eligible as per your physical presence criteria is concerned. Okay, so let me go at it again. So if you see here in the screen that I'm sharing, you would see here, there are five bullet points, four bullet points actually, which explains the concept that I'm talking about. So first thing you need to consider only five years count preceding your application. So if you are applying on say, 1st of August 2024, your calculation would start from 1st of uh, August 2019. Now, what is counted towards your physical presence? So once you get your PR, you every day you spend in Canada is counted as one day. Okay. Now, you need to stay in Canada for at least two years as a PR, at least two years as a PR to be able to satisfy the physical presence calculator. Say in the last five years, you have stayed in Canada four year on work permit and you got your PR in one year, last one year only, right? So say, for example, you are applying on 1st of August 2024, you got your PR in 1st of August 2023. So then you are not yet eligible for your Canadian citizenship. Once you spent at least two years or 730 days, then there is a possibility that the, the period of your stay in Canada before you got the PR as a, under a work permit can be counted towards your can be counted towards your application, but only to, to a maximum of 365 days. And you get credit only for half the number of days you have spent in Canada on a authorized temporary resident. So for example, you, if you have stayed in Canada for one year before getting your PR, then you, then six months would be added to your physical presence calculator. Okay. The day you have spent as a temporary resident in Canada will also earn you certain credit. But now let us, let us take another example. Say you have stayed in Canada as a work, on a work permit for four years. Okay. And then you got your PR. In that case, you will not get credit for two years or half the number of days. You will get a credit only for one year or 365 days. Okay. So you will get the credit for the period stayed in Canada up to a maximum of 365 days before getting your PR and each day would give you only half or half a day of eligibility. 
okay so i hope this concept is very clear okay and that is the reason there is they say that you need to stay in canada as a pr for two years before being eligible because if we, because totally you need three years of stay in canada two years can be as a pr and one year credit can be given you as a temporary resident or under work permit so let's so best case scenario what would happen best case scenario is somebody who has, who has lived in canada on work permit for two years got his pr and then stayed in canada for another two years and then he becomes eligible for citizenship so so after landing in canada he becomes eligible within four years of his stay in canada right but say you are a PR, you just arrived in Canada as a PR, then you will have to stay in Canada as a PR for three years. Okay, so the minimum stay, absolute minimum stay that would be required is three years, right? And after that, the best case scenario where you have also stayed as a on a work permit, the minimum stay is four years. There is no other way you can get a citizenship by staying less than three years in Canada. So I hope that concept is very clear. I have read on many forums and many calculators that if you stay as a PR for two years, you are eligible. So there is a nuance to that criteria. Yes, you can. If you have stayed in Canada for at least two years before getting your PR, then yes, you can get your citizenship after two years as PR okay so this is the basic concept I wanted to make very clear and now we will straight now we will straight jump to the calculator itself okay so go to this particular portal and now we will enter start entering some details before I enter the detail I in this example I will take you through a illustrative profile so Again, I have to enter some dates or something. So just to be consistent and just to make this example clear to everybody, I am taking an example of somebody who has entered Canada, say on 1st January 2019. He got his PR after two years. So he has stayed in Canada for two years and got his PR on 1st of January 2021. After getting his PR, he went outside Canada a couple of times. 1st of March 2021, and then 1st of April 2022. So he went outside Canada for two times after getting his PR. Okay. So this is my illustrative ex uh, profile of a person who is going to do his physical presence calculation now. So, so say assume we are that we are this person and we are now starting our calculation. So click on start calculation. Obviously, there is a button to retrieve the calculation. This is for somebody who has already done calculation and now wants to retrieve the calculation. Okay, but assume we are doing it for the first time. Click on start calculation. The first question that you would be asked is the date that you will sign this application. This is the date you will fill up your application. If you don't know, then put today's date, right? Or you can enter a future date. So let's say example, I am giving a future date. Let's say for example, September 1st, 2024. Okay, just an example. Okay, enter the date you became permanent resident of Canada. So this is the example from the earlier slide that you saw. So say for example, this person became, in our example, we saw PR on 2021 right january 2021 so january 1st 2021 is his pr date okay so we will now click on calculate you can click on save it you will then have to register your account i am not registering this account you can click save and register i'm not taking you through the registration process a very standard process i don't want to waste your time doing the calculation or doing the registration. So we have entered this to date and then we will click on calculate. Okay. Did you have Canadian temporary resident status between 1st September 19 and 31st December 20? So as I told you, 
this calculation would take effect only from five years from your five years preceding your application date since my application date is 1st of september 2024 it is asking me for my status from 1st of september 2019 so yes this person came in came to canada on 1st january 2019 in our example so yes he had a temporary resident status so he will say yes I had a temporary resident status from first on 1st September 2019. So, which is a true statement. Let's click submit. Next, please list the time with Canadian temporary resident status. Here it's asking for how much time have you spent as Canadian temporary resident so you will click on type and click on temporary worker okay from date now you will have to enter date only in the last five years now your actual work permit eligibility is say in our example was from 1st january 2019 okay but we cannot enter 1st january 2019 we have to enter 1st september 2019 because that is where the calculations start okay and to date is basically the day you get your PR, the calculation ends on that day. So in our example, he got his PR on 1st January 2021. So this calculation or this eligibility, this question ends on 31st of December 2020, one day before he got his PR. So yes, I would say that I got my, uh, I had a PR status, uh, sorry, um, Temporary worker status from September 1st, 2019 to 31st December 2020. Yeah, right. That's the question, right? 31st December, December 2020, 31st. Okay. Now, if, if say I say, okay, not 2019, I, I give my actual PR date, right? And if I click on add entry, see what happens. See, so this is, it will say that your stay your period is beyond the first relevant five years so please correct the dates okay so you will have to correct the correct these dates this is not acceptable so click on modify and then correct your dates correct your date to september 1st 2019 very important to understand it will accept dates anything that you enter in this particular calculator only works for the five years before you applied for PR okay so here it came out to 488 and he got credit for 244 days 50 percent of the days right just because he didn't spend his time like full two years before he he's, he's applying so say for example if this person was applying on 1st of January 2024 he would have got credit for full 365 days because in that case he could have gotten credit for full two years he stayed in in canada okay so this i hope is now very clear now you will click on calculate if you have any additional dates that you have spent say for example you came to canada went out and came back under a different work permit any kind of combination if you have any such combination in the last five years you can click on add entry and add one more entry our example is not that complicated once we do that click on calculate if you save and if you have created account it will save your calculation now now i will click calculate okay now there would be some questions very important did you spend any time serving a sentence for an offense in canada you would say no i hope and then click submit then you would say continue did you leave canada between 2019 and 31st august 2024 so see this is covering the full five years of the eligibility period we are applying on 1st of september 2024 and this is asking that did i leave ever leave canada in the last five years so in our example 
our our candidate went out of canada two times right first march and first april of 2022 so i will say yes this person went if you didn't leave canada in the last 5 years you can say no and go to the next step okay this would be very easy but since in our example we want to make it more comprehensive this demo as comprehensive as possible let's do this click on submit now it will ask you to list your absences so if you have seen my earlier video in my earlier video i had asked you to prepare or gather different dates for your application right this is where those dates would come into play right so you will need to know which dates you on which date you left canada and came to canada okay say for example first time he went to india okay and uh, we took an example that he went on january uh, march of 21 first first travel was 1st of march 2021 yes from 1st march 2021 to 1st march you can type also i'm just uh, using the mouse for uh, demonstration and then here you can say reason like uh, family visit okay you would click on add absence next you would say another entry right you went outside this particular person went outside twice next time he went on a vacation to mexico and he went on april of 22 so you would go 2022 april 1st to 2022 april 30th right let's take a one month vacation and he would say vacation okay and then click on add absence so now he has put his total number of absence from canada in the last 5 years if you have more click on more otherwise go to calculate so depending on the information that the candidate provided that we provided it seems that we meet the requirement of physically physical presence in canada and this is what you are aiming to get definitely get from this calculator this calculator is is very important to get this confirmation that okay yes i am eligible to start my application this is not an application mind you the thing that we did was only an online calculator and it took like what for us like 15 minutes to do it like with all the explanations so if you do it diligently if you have the information say you have your travel dates all the dates ready with you then it's very easy so so see you have this person has stayed for 100 1339 out of 1339 days he was absent for 57 days so he had he had sufficiently covered his physical presence he had stayed in canada for 1282 days right and then and then he got a credit for 244 days so total presence is 1500 days which is much beyond his actual eligibility requirement okay so this is a very important page i would say click on print this page and save a copy this would this information you need to enter again in the application so keep a copy of this particular this particular calculator with you this will go a long way in helping you fill up your application because you will have to basically repeat the same information when you are doing your online application i will have a demo of the online application also in my next video but save this copy and once you get a confirmation congratulations you are now eligible to become a canadian citizen and that is a big achievement my friend and i hope that you guys got some value out of this video and if you did click on the like button subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video thank you thank you so much